Welcome to Lynn Educational Television. I'm Afton Dean, bringing you St. Mary Softball as they host the Marblehead Magicians. The Magicians coming in with just one loss on the season. St. Mary's on the other side in this non-league game looking to clinch a state tournament berth and capture their 10th win of the season. We'll take a look at their defense in a second as the first pitch seals high for a ball. Left to right, Kate O'Neill, Marina DeBasio, and Alyssa Grusi. Over at third base, Jenny Ludis. Sam Korzynski, the shortstop, Lily Newhall at second base, and Talia Smaller, the first baseman. And Jordan Sullivan will be doing the catching tonight for Angela Pepe. Pepe having a good season. Marblehead's Mercedes Pelletier starts off with a base hit. And Marblehead has the leadoff hitter on here in the top of the first inning. And this will bring up Sophie Venner. We'll see if the bunt's on early in the game. Venner with the slap bid, follows it straight back. Followed in the same exact spot and oh! Venner gonna be down two strikes. So runner on first, no outs. And this is a non-league game for Central Catholic St. Mary's. Popped up outside of first and tell you Smaller not gonna be able to get there as she runs out of room. And we'll do it again. No balls, two strikes. Pepe obviously with a tall task this season as she follows the steps of Mia Nowicki who was the dominant ace of this pitching staff for St. Mary's since her 8th grade season. She graduated last season. Just misses on the outside corner. Benner putting on a good at bat here in the top of the first inning. Woo! Ground ball past the dive of Lily Newhall. And Mercedes Pelletier goes first to third and Marblehead's in business to start this game. They have first and third with nobody out. Not the start St. Mary's was hoping for. And this will bring up Charlotte Plakins, the pitcher. Popped up to right field. Lily Newhall steps back and takes care of out number one of the inning. Nice play by Newhall who had a range into the outfield. So first and third. And one out now for Sam Treff, the third baseman. In the cleanup spot tonight. A very good Marblehead team coming into this game. Benner takes second on the defensive indifference. So now both runners in scoring position with just the one out. Pepe set. Popped up, straight back. It's 
St. Mary's, as I mentioned, only needs one win to qualify for the state tournament. Swing and a miss. Ball goes to the backstop. Jordan Sullivan. Quickly. Gets to the backstop. Pepe wisely covers home plate. Pepe pulled the string with the changeup. Treff way out ahead of it. Popped up. And the shortstop. Korzynski calls off Newhall and St. Mary's one out away from getting it out of this first inning jam. So Pelletier on third, Venner on second with now two outs in the inning. Bell Sogloff hoping to do some damage here. Swing and a miss. They're going to check to see if she went around. She did. As the home plate umpire asked for help. She tried to check her swing, couldn't. Pepe paints that outside corner. And credit Pepe, the young freshman who has remained poised this season and pitching with a lot of confidence. St. Mary's has won eight of nine. Called off to the right. And with the state tournament, on deck, St. Mary's getting hot at the right time. Pepe goes back to the changeup. That's going to drop in front of the center fielder. And two runs are going to score. So the bloop single. St. Mary's looked like they were, had a chance to get out of this first inning jam. Sogloft loops it into center field just out of the reach of Marina DeBasso. And just like that, it is 2 0 Marblehead. St. Mary's will go to bat and will face a deficit in the bottom of the first inning. the sixth batter of the inning and Maddie Ernst the second baseman looking to extend the inning two runs already home swing and a miss Pepe stays with the hard stuff swing and a miss Ernst goes down swinging, but not before Marblehead strikes first, and they lead it two to nothing as we head to the bottom of the first inning. Moving into the bottom of the first inning, Marblehead on top two to nothing. Marina DeBasso leads it off for St. Mary's, and she takes strike one from Charlotte Plakins. Plakins on the mound tonight for Marblehead, and we'll look. A Take a look at their defense. Strike two. DeBasso down 0 2.
Debasso way out ahead of the changeup. Plakins gets her for out number one of the inning. And Plakins off to a good start. Lily Newhall stands in. And the Marblehead defense as Newhall falls it straight back. Left to right, Sophie Venner, Hannah Garth, and Felicia Paik. Sam Treff over at third base. Mercedes Pelletier, the shortstop. Maddie Ernst at second base. Bill Sogloff at first base. And Jole Quintana doing the catching tonight for Charlotte Plakins. Plakins featuring that off speed pitch early in this game. And she's tough. Marblehead, the top team in the Northeastern Conference right now, which is one loss as Newhall goes down swinging. Two up, two down. Both via way of the strikeout. And Jenny Ladice will get her shot at Plakins here in the bottom of the first inning. St. Mary's down 2 nothing. Marblehead scoring on the two-run double for Bell Sogloff. And St. Mary's going to have to play from behind in this one if they have any thoughts of clinching a state tournament berth tonight. Talia Smaller on deck to clean up hitter, hoping she gets a shot in this inning. He swings through that. Foul straight back. Ladice stays alive. And this is a non-league game from a Marblehead competing in the Northeastern Conference. Popped up and Ladice will see another pitch. Play can set the pitch. And lined into center field, and right at the center fielder, Hannah Garth. And Ladice put a charge into that. But two steps in, and Garth takes care of the third out of the inning. But Marblehead will lead it two to nothing at the end of one. Top of the second inning, Angela Pepe back out there. And she'll be greeted by Maddie Ernst, the second baseman. 2-0 lead for Marblehead. Swing and a miss for Ernst. Marblehead with some two-out magic. Last inning. St. Mary's looked like they were going to get out of a second and third jam. Unable to do so. Ernst shows bunt, follows it back, looking to get on any possible way. And she's in the hole 0-2. Sullivan frames it on the outside corner for strike three. First strike out of the game for Pepe. One up, one down. And the center fielder, Hannah Garth, who made the defensive play last inning to end the inning, will look to get things started offensively for Marblehead here in the second inning.
popped up. And that ball had a ton of top spin on it. Ball's in front of the shortstop, Sam Porzinski. And Ernst, or Hannah Garth, excuse me, is going to reach here with one out. Give her the infield single. Popped up. And off the glove of Smaller, but she was in foul territory. Looks like Marblehead coach Gold. Gonna have a word with the Empire. And. Maddie Ernst going to head back to the bag at first. So, in fact, a foul ball as call does not get overturned. Jolie Quintana will get another chance. Popped up on the right side. Foul. It's a beautiful night for softball and a pitcher perfect May night. Later start with the seven o'clock game underneath the lights. Sullivan picks it up in foul territory. And Quintana putting on a long at bat here against Pepe, making her work. Lays off that one. St. Mary's, of course, the defending Holland champions will take on Lynn Classical in this year's Holland tournament. Ball low. So some marquee matchups as we reach the end of the season. Popped up. <laughs> Lily Newhall right there for out number two. As she ranges to her right. Two out in the inning. Garth still on first. And Emily Ferrente, the DH, will look for a two out hit. Solid straight back. <laughs> Swing and a miss. A lot of these marble head hitters, tardy. Pepe, the hard throwing right hander. For St. Mary's. Yay! Swing and a miss. Strike three. Second strikeout of the inning for Pepe. And she holds Marblehead here in the second inning. And we'll go into the bottom of the second. St. Mary's down 2 nothing. Talia Smaller, the cleanup hitter, will lead off the bottom of the second for St. Mary's. 
as they face a 2-0 deficit. Charlotte Plakins, two strikeouts in the first inning. Tell you, small or thought about it, lays off. Count even at one and one. Foul back and smaller down in the count. One ball, two strikes. Ball away. And late strike call, strike three. A very delayed strike three call. So smaller goes down. Plakins has struck out three of the first St. Mary's batters. Jordan Sullivan jumps on the first pitch, sends it foul. St. Mary's a very young team, but have definitely shown their potential during this win streak. As I mentioned before, they've won eight of nine games. Plakins goes back to that changeup, and that is devastating. If you're a hitter, nothing you can do about that. Alyssa Grusey, the right fielder, swings in, misses at strike one. And she's down 0-2. Doesn't chase. Plakins has been tough early on in this game. Already four strikeouts. Make it five. And St. Mary's goes down in order. So Plakins strike out, strikes out the side. And St. Mary's down 2 nothing as we head into the third inning. Sophie Venner will lead it off for Marblehead. And we have reached the top of the third inning. Venner singled and scored in her first at bat. Tardy on the cut for strike one. Single up the middle, and that will get through. Venner, the leadoff hitter on for Marblehead. And we'll see Charlotte Plakins to bat for the second time tonight. Plakins lost the battle in the first inning, popped out. Take strike one from Pepe. Venner taking a good lead off first base. Up and away for a ball. Count even at one ball, one strike. Plakins having a great year offensively. Hitting over 500. Big reason why Marblehead has only one loss coming into tonight's game. Pepe tries to go to that off-speed pitch and misses high. Two 
Chases that one. Pepe has gone to that rise ball quite a bit here early on. It's been effective. And she misses away with it. And Count going to run full. Three balls, two strikes to Marblehead's number three hitter. Sam Treff awaits on deck in the cleanup spot. Ball four, Charlotte Plakins will head down to first. So a leadoff single and a walk. And Marblehead suddenly has first and second with nobody out. Sam Treff popped out her first at bat back in the first inning. Popped up, and Jordan Sullivan pulls off the mask and takes care of out number one. So that will take care of the first out, and Bell Sogloff, who had the big hit in the first inning, reason why this game sits at 2 0 Marblehead, and she had a two run single with two out, clutch hit. And that's going to hit Sogloff on the elbow. So she's going to head down to first base. That looked like it hurt. Pepe throws the ball hard. And Coach Gold will go out and check on her. She appears to be okay. But more importantly, this has loaded them up for Marblehead with one out in the inning. Angela Pepe facing another GM has had to throw a lot of pitches through these first two plus innings. Maddie Ernst struck out in the first inning. One of three Ks on the night for Pepe. So base is loaded. St. Mary's looking to prevent any further damage. Already down two runs in this game. Infield is not drawn in. Strike one. What? Up and away for a ball. One ball, one strike. Hannah Garth on deck. Hoping she gets a chance in the inning. She should, barring a double play. And Pepe goes right back to the outer half of the plate and picks up strike number two. And she's ahead two strikes to Maddie Ernst. Popped up, straight back, out of play. And we'll do it again.
Strike three. Ernst goes down looking. Pepe gets her. And now two outs in the inning. Bases still loaded for Hannah Garth. Garth singled last inning. And looking to do it again and extend this Marblehead lead. Pepe has different ideas. Looking to get out of this inning. Pepe doing a very good job locating the ball tonight. Has struggled with control in the inning, but very consistent on the outer half of the plate. Garth doesn't chase. Swings through that one, and she's down two strikes. Angela Pepe, one strike away from getting out of another jam here in the third inning. Fall back. Garth stays alive. Out of play. We'll do it again at two strikes. Off the glove of Sullivan. Runner's getting a good jump here. Looking to score on a hit. Up and away. Garth doesn't chase. Strike three. Garth goes down looking. Big strikeout for Pepe. And she gets out of it unscathed. And it will stay two to nothing. Marblehead on top as we head into the home half of the third inning. St. Mary's still looking for their first hit, first base runner of the game tonight. Sam Porzinski, the shortstop, will lead it off here in the home half of the third inning. Lakins has been tough tonight, to say the least. Has snuck in that off-speed pitch a few times, and it's been devastating. Brzezinski, patient. <laughs> Line past the shortstop, and that will be the first hit of the night. Sam Porzinski, and that's going to be overthrown. Porzinski going to take off to second base. She'll get in there. Heads up, base running. Errant throw by the center fielder, Garth. And just like that, St. Mary's has their first hit. And a runner in scoring position with no outs for Kate O'Neill. I would imagine the bunt would be on here. 
That breaks up a string of seven straight retired by Plakins. As that's fall back to the backstop. O'Neill fortunate there. O'Neill squares, gets it down, out at first, but more importantly, Korzynski now on third with one out. Kate O'Neill, good execution of the sacrifice bunt, and Angela Pepe will head to bat looking to help her own cause here. Down two runs, and yeah, she's in the number nine spot. Popped up. Strike one. Happy lets that one go by. And count even at one and one. St. Mary's with a great scoring opportunity here in the bottom of the third inning. Up a tardy on the cut. And Plakins ahead, two strikes. Marina DeBasso, the leadoff hitter, stands on deck. Fall back. Remember, this is a non-league game. St. Mary's Marblehead. And another changeup. Plakins goes to the off-speed pitch. Pepe fooled. And a big strikeout. Sixth strikeout of the game for Plakins. And Marina DeBasso will step to bat with two outs now. Runner still on third. Korzynski led off the inning with a single, went to second on the errant throw, advanced to third on the sacrifice bunt, and still stands there with two outs. Popped up, and the second baseman, Matty Ernst, will take care of that one. So St. Mary's strands one, and we will head into the fourth inning. Marblehead on top, two to nothing. We'll begin the fourth inning. Jolie Quintana, the catcher, will lead it off. She popped out back in the second inning in her lone at bat of the night. Pepe got out of a major jam last inning. The bases loaded jam at that. And we stand at 2 nothing. Marblehead on top to begin the inning. St. Mary stranded a runner on third last inning. As Quintana swings through that one. St. Mary's red hot, as I mentioned. They are winners of 8 of 9 coming into this game. Popped up. Korzynski handles it at shortstop for out number one of the inning. And we'll go to the number nine hitter, Emily Ferrente, who struck out in her first at bat of the night. Squares to bunt, pulls back, and they're going to say she offered. Fall back just gets a piece of it. 
Parente in the DH spot tonight for Marblehead. Yeah, it's definitely something. Yeah. <laughs> it's something all right. You get used to like coffee and no sleep, but uh, and this every day, you know. Exactly. First couple of weeks I couldn't do this. <laughs> no. Popped up. Doesn't go well with the softball. Lily Newhall oh, wow. onto no, the edge no, of the center no, field no, grass. No, no, no.